Welcome. In front of me is an Arcus Core 101 3G, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now, before we get started, there's a couple things that we will need. Number one is an SD card with the uh, app downloaded that is provided in the description. And number two will be a SIM card uh, with any kind of contact on it. So, to get started, once you have both of those, you want to insert them to the device and then reboot the device. Uh, otherwise, the SIM card will not work. And from there, we can begin. So, I guess you can see that it is locked right here, verify your Google account. So, now I'm going to begin the process. So, we do it by going to the first page. Now, you also should be connected to Wi-Fi, just in case. Um, let me go back even further to the first page. There we go. So now we're at the first page. So from here you want to go to emergency. Tap the emergency information twice. And then go to the pencil to edit it. Choose contact. Add contact. Give it a second. Uh, for you it might take a while to load the contacts that are on your SIM card. So just give it some time. Um, so yeah, once you see them, you want to choose any kind of contact, tap on it to add it, then tap on it again once it's added in here. Allow, allow, allow. And now we want to tap on the three dots and go to share and hold the Gmail option. Then select hop info. And from here, we are going to scroll down to notifications and then go to help and feedback I believe actually no that seems to do nothing let me quickly see I'm supposed to go to notifications and Oh, there we go. So it's the uh, info icon. I was looking for the setting icon, but it doesn't exist here. So it's the information icon, as you just seen right here. And from there, I'm going to go to the three dots and now help and feedback. And from here, once it loads, we check it. Let me go back, go to manage account, continue, yeah. and from here, let's scroll down to security, okay. security, scroll down to unknown sources, there we go, and enable it, confirm it by tapping on OK. And once we have selected that, we want to go even lower. Let me quickly check it. We're looking for the oh, there we go, device administrator. So it wasn't actually lower, it's above basically. Then select uh, Android Device Manager, select that, and then deactivate for uh, this device administrator. And once it's deactivated, we can go back. Go back once more and now go into apps. And from the apps, let's stop on the three dots. Go to show system. And now scroll down to G. Let's go lower. So we're looking for Google Account Manager. All right, there we go, Google Account Manager. Select Disable, Disable App. Go back, 
and now I want to go back and also disable the Google Play services. Disable, disable app, go back, go back once more. And once we're on the main settings page, you want to go to storage, then choose your SD card. And now you want to launch the app that we have downloaded, so let's select that. Go to next, next, install. So once it's done installing, which took a while, I click on done. Go back. Go back once more. And from here, we're gonna go to accounts. We go accounts. Tap on add account and choose Google. And once it shows us the option to log in, you want to log in with any kind of Google account that you own uh, or know the credentials for. If you don't have any, uh, you can simply create one, although I would advise you to do it on a computer, even though we have the create account right here. So I advise you to do it on a computer and you can basically create a trash mail specifically just to bypass this if you wanted to. And once you have it, just use it to log in. Now I have my own account, so that's what I'm going to use. And now I'm going to put in a password for it. And let's tap on next to log in. Let's accept whatever it shows up. Uh, and as you can see, uh, it tells us that the app that we have installed is crashing. It doesn't matter. Uh, this app allowed us to actually add a Google account. That's basically all the purpose of this app was and it doesn't matter anymore it has allowed us to add it so its job is done so from here let's go to apps and we need to re-enable the apps that we have disabled so again let's go to show system and scroll down to G F now we go G no, I think I too far there we go Google account manager let's re-enable it go back can see now it's enabled scroll down there's the play services and we enable that as well and once you have enabled both of these apps hold power key and select reboot I'm actually gonna take out the sim card right here this is just so I don't have to put a pin for it And as you can see, we're now back in the setup screen. So let's right now progress to the setup process. And I would advise you to skip basically as much as you can because it doesn't really matter what we choose right now. We still need to perform a reset of the device. Okay, finally it proceeded further. So, you can see right now, this is the previously the screen that would tell us uh, to verify our Google account. And now it's telling us that account was added and it's the account that I have uh, inserted right before the reboot of the device. So it basically did overwrite the uh, last one and allows us to proceed further. And also I'll mention that even though you see right now that account was added and allows us to proceed further, the device is still not unlocked. And like I said before, we still need to perform a reset of it through settings, which will, in this, uh, performing it in this form, will basically remove everything from the device uh, and all the data from the previous account, this account, and afterwards the device will be fully clean and unlocked. Okay, so there we go. We're now on the home screen. So let's open up the app tray. Hopefully this can load quick. And go and you want to open up settings. From here, scroll all the way down to backup and reset. 
factory data reset, reset tablet, and then tap on erase everything. Now I'm not gonna force you to sit through the rest of this, it's basically gonna go through a reset of the device and you should be back in the setup screen afterwards. Uh, and at that point you can set up the device as however you like, it will be fully unlocked and to act as though uh, the setup will look basically identical to the same way where you uh, unbox the device and have it for the first time. So you can skip the Wi-Fi connection or choose to connect to it and uh, Google account will only uh, be there just to allow you to log in and you can completely skip it if you don't want it. And like I said, I, I don't really feel like uh, like it's necessary for me to go through it because this probably will take a while. So yeah, once you top on erase everything, the device will begin unlocking itself. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.